Hello, I'm Sue Dengenis, Director of Marketing for Synchro Software. Thank you for joining us today. Today's webinar is Utilizing Workspaces for Effective Site Management. It's being led by Maria Pertisova. Maria is a 4D specialist in our London office. She has extensive experience with uh, construction globally and uh, she has a degree in industrial and construction engineering from Moscow State University. And uh, Maria, you ready to get started? So first of all, management of activity workspace is a very challenging task due to the dynamic nature of our construction sites. And this can affect not only costs and uh, duration of project, but also the safety. Synchro software is a powerful tool that allows us to identify, create, analyze, and manage workspaces conflicts. So what kind of uh, workspaces can I create or identify in Synchro? Uh, an example can be a safety workspace, like working areas for labors, or material storages, or equipment, or setup spaces, waste spaces. So, for example, uh, if you have a look on my screen, you can see that I have imported that workspace from, from Revit for my tower crane which identifies work zone. Uh, so if I move my focus time, you can see working radius of tower crane. So uh, let's say if I have several tower cranes, then it will help me to manage a shared work zone. Now I will turn it off and I will uh, create a workspace inside of Synchro. So for that I go to create workspaces and I will identify some place on my model. Uh, let's say this uh, green space. I will use it in order to deliver my materials, such as panels, and um, I will name it like panels. Once a workspace have been, has been created, Synchro will ask you if you want to, to assign it to a new resource. Yes, I will assign it. So now in 3D object tree, you can see that a new workspace appeared. But also, I will use the same space to deliver other materials. I can create or I can copy. This one will be steel. Steel. Okay. Assign to a new resource. Steel. Add. And the third one will be for MAP pipes. Right click. Create workspace.
are enamored pipes. OK, assign to new reserve pipes. So now I will turn them on. And to identify, I will change the colors. Right click, edit, color, uh, panels will be pink. Edit color, pipes will be dark blue, and steel, sorry, color yellow. Now I will assign my workspaces to activities in the program. For that I will go to resource appearance profiles and create temporary work spaces original color. Now panels will go to panels delivery, pipes to pipes delivery, and steel to steel delivery. So if I move my focus time, you can see how track is coming. In Synchro, I can run workspace conflicts. For that, I will use option special coordination. First, I will select my 3D object, choose the time, go to Navigator, special coordination, right-click, add, I will name it work spaces test conflict focus time and selected 3D objects. Right click, run test. So now you can see that one conflict has been found between pipe delivery and steel delivery. So I can print, export this information. Also, I can create uh, here work workspace for for waste and assign my track and run the test and see the dynamic collision. Also, you can create workspace from bounding box. Just by selecting elements. I think that uh, now I will leave some space for time for questions because we have just a couple of minutes. Yeah, thank you, Maria. That was terrific.
Um, so if you have questions, please submit them in the questions panel. Um, there are a couple that have come in. Uh, the first one is, can I edit workspace after it has been created? Uh, yes, you can. You can You can use same tools like for other 3D object. You can rotate, move, scale. You can copy past the element. I will just show 3D properties. Let's say rescale. I will undo it. So the next question is, how do you resolve the conflict that you showed? Uh, can, can this be edited in the timeline? Well, you, you have to, to um, you can export it, you can discuss with your managers. Probably you can add them into your uh, program, right? And change duration. So this is a communication question. Right, so Maria had showed two things being um, occupying the space at the same time. So obviously that conflict needs to be sorted out, whether it be, you know, you change the schedule or the delivery times or something. Um, so once you do that, you update the schedule and, and you resolve that conflict. Um, one more question is, can I add information to my workspace inside Synchro? Uh, yes, if you select the element, the workspace, you can go to 3D properties, for example, user field, and you can add a new user field and add some information. Like, uh, let's say, I had 3D location, right? And I could write. So if I had applied this element, you can see the user field appear. And you can export this information as well. Okay, there's one more question, which hopefully, uh, it's just about uh, 9.15, but one more question. Can I import workspaces from Revit? Yes. Yes, just go to File, Import 3D, Geometry, and your workspaces will appear in 3D Object 3. Okay, very good. All right, terrific. Well, uh, thanks everybody for your time. This session is recorded. We'll have it posted to our YouTube channel uh, later today. And if you have additional questions, feel free to email us. Um, upcoming webinars are posted on the home page of the website. You can register for those. Um, and the details for training, of course, are also on the home page. Uh, again, for those of you who joined us a little bit later, we encourage you to register for the new Academy. Lots of great resources there. And um, we look forward to hearing about your project. So thank you. Have a great weekend. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, Maria. Thank you.